Protection for the upper body is provided by a short-sleeved male haubergeon, belted at the waist to take some of the weight off the shoulders. A rigid breastplate is fastened over the haubergeon, again held in place by buckled leather straps. The V-shaped bar is a stop rib designed to deflect thrusts from skidding off the breastplate and into the wearer's throat. The arms are protected by another articulated harness of three main sections, comprising of a hinged lower cannon for the forearm, the cooter for the elbow and the upper cannon for the upper arm. The arm defence is attached by points to the arming doublet underneath the male sleeves and held in place by buckled straps. Although the shoulders are protected by the sleeves of the haubergeon, some knights preferred the additional protection of a pair of spolders. These are made up of a number of small iron plates which are articulated by riveting them to leather straps. The spolders are secured by points passing through the rings of the haubergeon and strapped under the arm to hold them in place. On his head, the knight wears a padded arming cap and then dons his helmet. In this case, a bassinet with attached male neck protection known as an aventail. This bassinet has a visor which can be lowered to protect the face or raised to allow the knight to see and breathe more easily. The visor is attached to the skull of the helmet by a pair of removable pins so that if desired, it could be taken off altogether.